What's up guys, Lifting here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I organize my stash tabs for the uh, Regal Orb recipe and for the Chaos Orb recipe. And the reason I feel this holds value to you guys as well is that we all know how valuable the Chaos Orb and Regal Orb recipe can be, but it's also really, really tedious having to sort through an entire item set every time you need to sell it to the vendor. So in order to speed this up to make it easier and more efficient, I've come up with a system that I use uh, for my characters. And um, you will need four additional stash tabs for this. You don't need them to be premium or anything like that, but four additional stash tabs, uh, as long as you just want to use it for either the Chaos or the Regal Orb recipe. So what I do is that I have my stash tabs here. These are my four stash tabs. In the first one, I put all my jewelry. So the belt, the amulet, and the rings. In the second one, I put my weapons. I only use two-handed weapons. The best ones you can use are growth bows because they take up the least amount of space. But any two-handed weapon is good enough for the Chaos Orb recipe and the Regal recipe. As long as, keep in mind, all of the items need to be rare. They need to be above item level uh, 60 and less than 75. If it's above 75, you get a Regal Orb instead. So... I have the jewelry, I have the weapons, I then have the uh, uh, chest and helmets in this stash tab, and then I have my gloves and my boots in the last stash tab. And what this allows me to do is that every time I find some crap that I don't need in uh, some of the maps or whatever I am farming that, that fits the item levels, I simply just throw them in here. So I know this is my boots and gloves section, so I just throw them in here. And then when these are filled up, I simply take out the Boots, gloves, helmet, chest, weapon, and then two rings, an amulet, and a belt. Good and I go over style. and I sell this to uh, whatever uh, vendor. And I get a Chaos Orb. And then you can do this really, really fast. And it just becomes so much more efficient doing it this way. Using this method, I gain about 10 to 40 Chaos Orbs during a day, depending on how much I've been gaming. So if you have the extra stash tabs, I would recommend setting up a system for this. And as you can see, this is C1. It's just for KS1, KS2, KS3, KS4. And then I have, over here have Regal 1, Regal 2, Regal 3, and Regal 4. So, Oh, and I also make sure that my KS Orb tabs, the ones you see here, have a dedicated buyout for PoE trade for one KS. So if I throw some stuff in here that I don't need anyway, then uh, there might be some people who seize the value or need that specific item. So they will be interested in buying that item, even for one chaos, even if we judged it not worthy of that amount of price. So set a, a buyout for one chaos for each of these and for the Regal recipe, of course, set it accordingly to uh, whatever the ratio is between chaos, Regals and so on. For me, I've set it to four alchemies right now. And so by using this method, you're setting yourself up for easy profit with uh, very little work so it's definitely manageable obviously not everyone has the stash tabs but that's how it is anyway i hope it was of use thank you for watching and bros do you even nerd